So uh, Scott Knox uh, gave us that that update, and now Peter, it's you and me, man. We're going to talk about all of uh, all of our videos and uh, wonderful footage that we got from on the Baltic Sea, on the River Thames, and in Sweden. And so, uh, tell me, you've had a chance to look at these three hundred or four hundred video clips from underwater and on top of the water and Carl getting dirty on the dock. And uh, uh, what's your assessment of what we've got and what we can do with it to share with our people uh, around the world? Hello, Carl. It's nice to see you again. And um, also Olya and other people on, on, on the boat where I, I wanted to uh, trip. It has been a fantastic year, this uh, expedition we have this year, because the weather was, uh, first of all, uh, very well, no big waves, lots of the time, and also uh, good uh, lifting from, from the bottom of the sea, good material was coming up, and uh, this year, everybody was a little bit more prepared for it, because they have tried it before, and have some uh, good experience uh, out of that. So it was a little bit easy to tell the, the, the divers how to uh, manage a camera, how to take uh, good pictures down there and, and videos as well, which is uh, very important to have good videos. And uh, I feel uh, when I look at all the material, there is lots of many good hours in that uh, video we have got and that the uh, photographic uh, material so the problem is how to to find the best of it and show all that uh, nice pictures and video there is so uh, there will be a big uh, work in the future to get down in the material and and uh, and take uh, the bad things out and, and put the good thing into a, a film sure yes. well there there's hundreds of items that we could show but to me that entire two weeks of uh, salvaging on the river thames tugboat uh, i would say that we're dealing with um, the preparation to get the boat ready and remember carl took all those parts out of the swimming pool that were stored in there and i was working on those before the boat arrived then the boat arrives then we start into the actual salvage. And remember, we pulled up the flaps. And then later, we pulled up the intermediate wing, you know, that three meter piece of wing, which is very important for the rebuild of the Halifax and Scott Knox. And then we pulled up the rudder using that big framework to bring the rudder up from the bottom. So to me, those are the three major items of our salvage over those two weeks. And uh, But remember that beautiful night when it was uh, the water was like glass and we had the beautiful sunset and uh, you were shooting pictures as the sun set and we had a good productive day. It doesn't get any better than that. No, it was really, really perf perfectly day that day, and it's uh, staying uh, deep in the mind uh, for long, uh, for many years uh, in the future. I and you tell. know, now, folks, I want to tell you, this guy here, he's got his drone camera, his drone and a camera, and with if the weather is right and everything's good, Peter's up there high teching it with his drone and his camera. And he got some beautiful shots. Uh, Peter, um, have you had a look at the full spectrum of the video clips that all of the divers and all the people took? And uh, is there any of those images that stand out for you that you, you especially like? Yeah. That one you have to just uh, talk about what uh, which uh, Liam have taken. It was a very very beautiful shot 
and I will be happy to to show show everybody it uh, a day. But uh, that was all the times where 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 there was lifting uh, stuff from the bottom, where you get the good material up, uh, where people were really really working hard to 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 get that uh, big thing uh, up over the water on on uh, on board on the ship also. Sure. Okay, I'm doing a uh, a report for the local newspaper about the Sweden project right now. Mm-hmm. Just now, this today, I'm doing a report for the local newspaper. I'm doing a report for the Canadian Aviation Historical Society, and I'm doing another report for uh, a World War II airplane group in the United States that wants to know what happened in Sweden this summer. So that report, when I get it finished, not only will I send it out to them, but I'll send it out to you so that you have a review from the project manager. And that that could help with guidelines on the show. I would like to be able to present a musical video to the people at my museum. There will be hundreds of people there on September 17th to see my presentation. So I would like to not only show a musical video, but I will show video of the parts being lifted and I I will speak to the difficulties of lifting these pieces. So I will give them extra details, but uh, your musical video last year with the lightning coming down and all of that stuff, that was very good. So appreciate that input, Peter. And uh, let's continue to collaborate on making it the best we can. Of course, it would be nice uh, to to make some good and interesting uh, information out of out of all of that work we have put in it already so uh, it would be a uh, pleasant uh, to to make uh, some good uh, material in the in the future uh, and work sure. together with you i will uh, be, uh, see you to that yeah I'm, yeah well i'm looking forward to working with you and uh, blondo mr mr blondo in uh, ottawa and uh, we will share it with the world and it will be exciting for everybody and uh, so uh, thank you for coming on uh, the program today. And folks, for all of you out there, if you want to continue to travel with us on this great adventure, just keep sending in funding, donations, because we're going to keep rolling. We've got more work to do next year. Folks, I just, I'll put this in as a side. You don't know the half. Uh, You know what we're doing in Sweden, but you don't know the half of what we're doing in the near future that goes beyond Sweden. I can't tell you right now. It's a secret, Peter. Okay. We can't tell. Okay. So, but um, uh, if you can help us with a donation to fundraiser 417-498, this will keep us rolling and you can see what a great team we have. So, We hope to hear from you. We hope to get your support. And uh, you can all see it all, share it all with us on airplanehunters.org. We'll be right back on airplanehunters.org.